CFT is one years old. Can you believe it? I can't. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Room. Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. What's good, man? Feeling great today. Feeling, feeling real good, man. Today, CFT turns one years old, man. Um, I think it was around this time a whole year ago. And this time of day when I dropped the video, my first video, um, complaining about getting blocked in somebody's comments, man. Um, it's crazy to me, man, that a year has passed and that that video is what sparked this channel. Um, I'm super grateful, super thankful. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna touch on some more things about, you know, just the journey and stuff later in the video. Um, I wanted to definitely put a video out today, you know, just marking time, um, one year to this date. But before I do that, I wanted to talk about CD Lamb, man. I really feel like CD Lamb is being undervalued. I know that sounds crazy because it's CD Lamb. But y'all hear me out, man. CD Lamb is poised to take a leap this year that's going to put him in, I feel like, considered one of the best receivers in the entire game, not one of the best receivers on the Cowboys. Y'all feel me? Like, um,. I really do feel like people like underestimate CD Lamb because they threw him in the slot last year, obviously because we got so much receiver talent. And he was a rookie. So, you know what I'm saying? You let Michael Gallup stay on the outside. You let Amari Cooper stay on the outside. You just throw CD Lamb in there. But I saw some, and listen, no homo, but check it out. Saw some pictures recently of CD Lamb, man. Dude looking like Des Bryant. Like, ain't no other to say it. Ain't no other way to say it. Like, he's put on some weight. It's clear to see. It's not a camera trick. It's not an angle. He's put on some weight. He's still just as athletic as he used to be. I ain't saying he's exactly Des Bryant. I'm saying that I saw the jump ball versus, um, I think it was Anthony Brown and OTAs. And, you know, it did give me Des, vi Des vibes because that was Des bag. Dez wasn't really running past too many people. Early in his career, he did, but, you know, a lot of his catches was contested, 50-50 balls, which he made like 80-20, 90-10, just because he was so physically dominant, and corners couldn't do nothing with him. If you look at the stats, let me pull the stats up, man. CD's first year, 74 reception, 935 yards, five touchdowns, and a, um, a run-back touchdown, so six touchdowns total. 52-yard um, long, 12.6 average, um... The boy had a great rookie year. And if you compare that to Dez's rookie year, it's night and day. Dez's rookie year was 45 receptions, 561 yards. But he look, 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 the, the averages, 12.6 for CD, 12.5 for Dez. You feel me? Now, Dez made a leap the next year. He went to 63 receptions, 928 yards, similar to rookie CD's first season. But he went to 14.7 per catch as an average. And nine touchdowns. I can see that leap happening for CD. I feel like CD's definitely going to get a 1,000 plus yards. I don't really think that's a question. I feel like CD can get like 1,250. I think CD's going to double his touchdown total. He's at least going to get 10. That's not a question to me. Y'all tell me if I'm tripping. I feel like that average is going to go to like 14, 15 yards as well. I feel like the 50-50 ball thing, it ain't even close. I feel like corners is going to fear cd they're going to start the game plan for cd and we're going to see the shift this year from cd going from receiver three you know to wide receiver one um i think by the end of the year even by mid-year it's not even gonna be a question who the number one receiver is who in when the game is on the line who are we going to i really do feel like this is the year he's going to separate himself like i know Coop is the master of route running, and Michael Gallup is amazing with his acrobat acrobatic catches. But when the game's been on the line, our, our red zone has been kind of bad. That's the one gripe I have against our offense. I've said it plenty of times. 
You got C.D. Lamb now. I feel like he's the one that you just like, look, man, the game's online. Throw it his way. He's coming down with it. Like D-Hop. Yes, sir. Listen. I got to say thank you, man. There's a lot of people that have supported me over this year, man. And I want to run them down. And listen, I'm going to try my best not to forget anybody. But I got to run down some names of people that have showed me love and support. Um from early on till now, because it's been a journey. Um, first person to show me some some love, man, my boy Space Cowboy, man. Space was the first person to send subscribers my way. Literally, to just tell his, his, his following, yo, go check out Cowboys Fan Talk. He's the first person to bring me on a live stream. I'm forever indebted and appreciative to that, man. Space, thank you. Um, Joe Rod, Joe Rodriguez, man, Cowboys blog. Um, second person to show me some direct love, like one, some of the goats, um, um, Law Nation, man. Law Nation has um, hit me up in my in my DM, gave me some love, man. Skywalker still, um, when I reached out to him, he showed me nothing but love and gave me guidance just like Law. Um, Got to show him love, man. <laughs> my boy, Big Game James, man. Yes, sir. Big Game James has showed me love. Um and got a chance to do a live stream with him in a big panel. And um, it was cool to rock with him, man. He's always show love, drop knowledge. I appreciate him rocking with me. Um, I cannot go further without mentioning Cowboys fan 1980, man. Definitely somebody um done some live streams with. He's given me some some knowledge behind the scenes, man, and some, some things that have opened my eyes. And I appreciate him, no doubt. My boy Sid, man. Cowboys for life. You know what I'm saying? Sid, um, one of the most genuine people I've rocked with. Um, I appreciate your love, man. Thank you. Jay Tuck, my boy BJ Nix. Um, I never really um spoken with Mariella, but shout out to her too, because she's part of Star Gang. And my boy Spoonie. Um, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for real, man. Y'all have done nothing but giving me knowledge over the year. Um, my boy Matt Owen, Matt Owens that um, rocks with them. Um, y'all been like I would say y'all my definitely my Cowboys family man. We rock heavy. We always chopping it up on Twitter man. Me and Nick's went like two or three hours in the DM and text arguing over some of the silliest stuff. And look man, it's it's been a journey. It has been a journey. I appreciate y'all man. Um, anybody else that has showed me love reached out to me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm just trying to keep giving y'all content, keep going forward. I just don't want y'all to think, man, I've had people tell me that I think I know it all because of my progression in the YouTube game. I just want to say, man, that's not even my bag. I've never been the know-it-all person. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you that I'm the smartest Cowboys fan or football fan. I'm just a passionate fan, man. It reads in the name, Cowboys Fan Talk. It's not Cowboys Fan Analysis. There's plenty of other channels that got that for you. I give you my opinion. I give you my heart, my passion. And people that come to my channel and rock with it, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? People that don't, I appreciate you too, man. I love the haters that come through the channel talking trash. It makes it fun. Just nothing personal. Um, you know, nothing, nothing too derogatory. And I don't mind it, man. I, I like it. But, you know... I just don't know how to give my gratitude to all of the subscribers, man. I'm not at 5,000, but to get to almost 5,000 in a year, I'm speechless. Because it's something that I couldn't have fathomed, man. You know, I was excited when 30, 40 people wanted to listen to me, let alone five grand. So thank you. Um, like I said, man, I'm going to continue to work hard for y'all, give y'all content as I see fit, man. Um, and I hope y'all keep rocking with me and keep growing with me. And listen, I gotta make a promise to y'all. I know I haven't done a live stream on my own, and it's way overdue. I promise y'all, within the next couple of weeks, I will be doing my own live stream. Y'all can jump in there, ask me direct questions, show support to the channel, however y'all see fit. And I am working on um my first round of merch. Shout out to Jay Tuck. He um drops some knowledge on your boy, so I can get that up and running. So. I got some things coming, man. I'm sorry to be long-winded on this video and for it to be longer than normal, but just wanted to get those things off my chest, man. 
Again, thank you to everyone that has showed me support, to everyone that may have rocked with your boy, that lies on me. Anybody that's ever commented on the video, um, show me support on Twitter. Y'all can follow me, Cowboys um, underscore fan talk. Um, everywhere, man. I swear if I'm forgetting someone, trust me, it is not purposeful. I'm not like that. Um, I got to show support. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's rocked with the Cowboys fan talk, IG. Just everybody, man. The, look, the, the people I beef with on IG all the time, my boy Philly Mike, um, my Joe, Joe Castro, um, <laughs> um, people I've done NFC live tables with, um, the Entertainer, um, Ed Oliver, just everybody, man. Um, everybody's I've, I've ever argued with in the comments, man. I just I'm trying to be genuine as possible. I'm not trying to um, sound cool or nothing like that. Now, I'm not saying I ain't going to keep it spicy over the next year. I'm going to talk my trash. But you can talk trash and you can be humble and appreciative, too. They don't have to be, you know, mutually exclusive. So, look, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. I'm going to keep grinding. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. I holla.